Hello, I'm Jackie from ielttjackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a bar chart essay. There are five steps to writing a good bar chart essay. One, analyse the question. Two, identify the main features. Three, write an introduction. Four, write an overview. And five, write the details paragraphs. Use this simple planning process as you practice writing bar chart essays and you'll have no problem remembering it in the exam. Steps one and two of the planning process should take around five minutes. It is essential that you don't miss these out as they're the key to writing a high scoring essay. In this video, I'm going to take you through the whole planning process step by step as we work on a practice question. Before we begin, Here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for all academic task one questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph one is the introduction. Paragraph two, the overview. Paragraph three is about the first main feature of the bar chart. And paragraph four is about the second main feature. Now that we have all the tools we need, we're ready to begin planning and writing our bar chart essay. Here's our practice question. The bar chart below shows the sector contributions to India's gross domestic product from 1960 to 2000. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task one question is the same. Here's our practice question again with the words that are included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of three parts. Sentence one, which is a brief description of the graphic. Sentence two, the instructions, that's the highlighted part. And three, the graphic, be it a chart, a graph, or table, etc. Sentence two is the one that tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. Select the main features, write about the main features and compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. Our practice graphic is a dynamic bar chart. That is, it includes a timeline giving data from several different points in time. So for this question, we need to identify the main trends that is, the general developments or changes in situation. On this bar chart, we must look for the main trends in the three key sectors of the Indian economy, that's agriculture, industry and service, between 1960 and 2000. Alternatively, a bar chart may be static, with the data coming from one point in time, as in this example. For this graphic, we would need to compare the different variables, that is, the different leisure activities favoured by Canadian boys and girls. The graphic in bar chart questions should not be difficult to interpret. Each question has been created to test your language skills, not your mathematics ability. All you're looking for are the main features, and these will usually be the easiest things to spot. As we've just seen, the type of key features will depend on whether the bar chart is dynamic or static. There will be lots of information in the graphic to help you identify the main features. Here are some useful questions to ask. What information do the two axes give? Is it dynamic or static? What are the units of measurement? What are the time periods? What can you learn from the title and any labels? What's the most obvious trend? And are there any notable similarities? I give more detail on how to use these questions, plus downloadable checklists for identifying the main features of all seven types of IELTS Academic Task 1 questions in the lesson on how to understand and analyse Task 1 questions. There's a link to it in the notes below this video. So what main features stand out in our practice graphic? Here it is again. There are three main features or trends in this bar chart. Main feature one, the contribution of the agricultural sector dropped steadily. 
main feature too. The contribution of the service sector increased each decade. And main feature three, industry remained static from 1980 to 2000. The general trends you select will be the starting point for your essay. You will then go on to add more detail. With just 20 minutes allowed for the task and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include much detail. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four-part structure we're going to use. Paragraph 1 is the introduction. Paragraph 2 the overview. Paragraph 3 covers the first main feature and paragraph 4 covers the second main feature. First, the introduction. There isn't room to include the graphic on each slide, but if you want to refer to it as we work through the four paragraphs, bring up the bar chart lesson on my website, ieltsjackie.com, where you'll be able to see it. The link is in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question. That is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, this is the question. The bar chart below shows the sector contributions to India's gross domestic product from 1960 to 2000. And here's a sample introduction. The bar chart illustrates the relative percentage contributions made by the agricultural, industrial and service sectors to the Indian economy between 1960 and 2000. That's all you need to do for the introduction. Ideally, key words such as sector and contributions should be replaced by synonyms, but there aren't any obvious words that could be used instead, so it's fine to repeat them. It's important that your language sounds natural, so never try to force in synonyms that don't quite fit. In the second paragraph, you should report the main features you can see in the graph, giving only general information. The detail comes later in the essay. You should also make any clear comparisons you spot. This is where we write about the general trends. Here are the ones we picked out earlier. Main feature one was the contribution of the agricultural sector dropped steadily. Main feature two was the contribution of the service sector increased each decade. And main feature three was that industry remained static from 1980 to 2000. Now form these ideas into two or three sentences, with a total of around 40 words. State the information simply, using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structures are required, just the appropriate words and correct verb tenses. For example, over the whole time period, the significance of agriculture declined steadily, while services grew in importance decade by decade. A different pattern emerged for industry, which initially showed a slowly increasing percentage, but then plateaued from 1980 onwards. Paragraphs 3 and 4 of your bar chart essay are where you include more detailed information about the data in the graphic. We have three key features to write about, and that's fine. In paragraph 3, we're going to write about the first two. Here's our third paragraph. In 1960, Agriculture contributed by far the highest percentage of GDP, peaking at 62%, but it then dropped in steady increments to a low of 12% in 2000. The service sector, on the other hand, had a relatively minor impact on the economy in 1960. This situation changed gradually at first, then its percentage contribution jumped from 28% to 43%, between 1980 and 1990. By 2000, it matched the high point reached by agriculture in 1960, showing a reversal in the overall trend. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your remaining features. We have one left to write about. Here's an example of what we could write. Paragraph four. Industry remains a steady contributor to India's wealth throughout the period. As a sector, it grew marginally from 16% in 1960 to exactly a quarter in 1980, then remained static for the next two decades, 
maintaining a constant share of the overall GDP. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. Pause the video and read through it so that you can hear how the four paragraphs flow from one to the other. This sample bar chart essay is well over the minimum word limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. That's why it's essential to select just two or three main features to write about. Now use what you've learnt in this lesson to practice answering other bar chart questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.